Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your extra daily dose of skill. We are back on track fellas, slowly but surely I am feeling so much better. I had a very very disgusting flu fellas uh, and I needed to give a break uh, um, for one of the YouTube channels which is extra channel, I apologize for that. But now we are back and now we are going to go strong. So, um... What is today's YouTube video? Today we are going to take a look at the top 3 most um, played tank destroyers tier 7 and in the third spot with 545,000 games in the last 60 days is Su-101. Um, I believe a lot of people would agree with me this is one of the um, best tank destroyers in the game, at least that's what I want to believe. And uh, it is very, very, very strong tank overall. Why so? You have a decent gun. You have a decent gun handling, right? Uh, you have very good armor for this tank. Even uh, tier 8s. Whenever you are playing with this tank properly, even tier 8s might struggle to penetrate you. I mean, all and all, this is very powerful uh, tank. And... Uh, uh, I Armor wise it is pretty damn ideal for a tier 7 tank, right? You won't find many better armor tank destroyers, right? And in the same time combination of the things are just great and this is worth a thing to highlight. At this point for example we are feeling very very well here and we are just farming this King Tiger. And King Tiger has a decent gun fellas. We cannot say King Tiger is useless um, gun wise or something but he cannot do shit for us because our armor is just simply that good you know so that's an uh, that's a positive thing about this vehicle anything else uh honestly mobility for this um for this armor is also very very strong i definitely cannot say this tank is not mobile or something because tank is pretty damn mobile and agile so once again just perfect combination of the things i wish to say the same thing about the uh, tier 8 version of this vehicle because because oh boy, so oh boys, it is not the case, okay? Believe me, it is not the case. Meanwhile, we have our Hashem Borshek, and he thinks he is feeling pretty good, and you know what? It's still not that easy to penetrate us. Even for tanks like our Hashem Borshek. We need to figure out how to make a bit of pressure for this gentleman, and this is a bit of the problem. I have an idea. I am going to go super aggressively and I will try to ram the living crap out of him. Um, will it work? I don't know. Time will show absolutely everything. But for now, um, I just need to get involved in this situation, you know? I just simply need to get involved. Meanwhile, he's not paying attention and I think I am going to ram him. Bam! Beautiful. Uh, free kamikaze medal, which is always nice and always welcome. Beautiful. Um, okay, what is the next victim for us in this game? I would say Super Hellcat is the one who is politely asking to get banged. Can we spank him once or twice? Question mark. Let's go. Boom. Unfortunately, we are missing the shot, which is quite sad thing if you would ask me. Can I spank him? I cannot. Well, you see, speaking about this game, it is quite sad story, my friends. Um, and I truly want to highlight this. Why is it so sad? Because enemies have no team whatsoever and we are also in the same time um, kind of bottom tier. Right? So once again, it is not so simple to do the things properly, but we will attempt to do our best. Okay, 1.6 thousand damage, I am accepting this. It, it wasn't bad play um, from our side, although I must admit, couple of shots missed in this area, it wasn't the finest one. But that's okay, what can you do? Accept it and let's move to the scoreboard, shall we? 
And we are back, fellas. We are back with victory. We are back with Kamikaze medal. 1.6 thousand damage is not ideal in any shape or any form, but that's what we have. We are um, third by the damage. We are fourth by experience. And this game was bloody four minutes. This is quite nuts if you would ask me, but yeah, this is how the things are looking like. Anyways, does this tank deserve to be in the third spot? In my opinion, yes. Everything is fine with this tank. It is not horrible by any shape or any form. And I can tell you that whenever you have um, more skills on this vehicle, Aka, Snapshot, Smooth Ride, the tank is going to behave so much uh, better. But as you can see, we have, uh, we actually have a decent crew, but the gun handling, uh, unfortunately, simply said no thank you, and we missed uh, a lot of, a lot of shots, which is sad, but oh well, better luck next time. Anyways, let's teleport to the number two tank, and uh, this is going to be a good one. Let's go. And we are back, and you know what? We are so lucky. We got pretty much the best map which we could get for E25. Nuts. Anyways, E25 is second most played tank of the tier 7 tank destroyers. It has been played um, 1,063,000 times. So pretty much twice more than Su-100M1. And there is a reason. This vehicle is... Uh, there is a reason why this tank is so popular. I mean... It is cockroach, okay? It is very hard tank to kill. Um, and it is extremely hard tank to deal with, in my humble opinion. So, not a big surprise why people are playing so much with this tank. And at this point, I believe we are going to be relatively aggressive. And by saying we are going to be relatively aggressive, I mean we are going to be aggressive to the maximum. I have a feeling I could actually even go to this position here, honestly. Although, look at this beauty, fellas. Look at this beauty. You know what? I am going to shoot. Do I have anything to lose? I am cockroach. Good luck beating the living crap out of cockroach. Good luck. Yeah, here you go. This is, this is what this tank is capable of. Can you imagine we are spotting for ourselves? And in the same time, we are beating the living crap out of every single enemy who is, uh, who is playing here. It is absolutely insane. I'm telling you, when I'm saying a tank is very, very powerful, and when I'm saying we, are, we got that pretty much best map for ourselves, uh, but I am not lying, fellas, I'm not joking, it is just the case. Um, and in this game, I want to believe we are going to have a very, very decent performance. At this point, all we need to do, we need to hunt this light tank, he managed to spot us, well, hashtag never lucky for us, what can I say? And in the same time, this gentleman is literally effed. He cannot do absolutely anything, he's just dead meat, fellas. He is just dead meat. Can he do something about this? Yeah, he can go back to the garage. That's what he can do. At this point, I need to figure out how to build a bit of the distance between me and enemies. And I am going to do everything properly, fellas. Don't worry. I am just driving like headless pigeon. And this is going to work just fine for us. And you know what? Uh, let's go back to the same bush. Actually, look at this beauty. Uh, enemy tiger one is going in front like there is no tomorrow congratulations he is back in the garage as well and in fact we actually managed to armor him which is quite a, quite a good thing okay let's see at this point we are going to load the high explosive ammunition and with high explosive ammunition we are going to knock the tree uh, unfortunately we knock the tree to the wrong side so we will pretend we never ever try to do anything like this in our lives okay beautiful thank you very much for understanding and let's see what we can do next um i probably should uh, be more passive and I should wait until this T-50 would spot someone here but I am feeling completely fine and I do not really mind that much. At this point I would rather 
eliminate Arl44 from the game and Leopard. For Alf, Arl44 we are going to load the gold ammunition, we are going to spank him in the face, he is officially dead, beautiful, after that what we are going to do, we will try to escape just like so, we know where Wafflecock is sitting at, he is sitting in this typical position and we are going to be fine. I am lucky I survived to be fair with you, I am truly lucky I supposed to be dead. Meanwhile, what we need to say, we need to say for our guys, they have, they have a sniper schnitzel here for sure and at this point we are going for a blind shots. I am feeling relatively fine, I do not really think I am going to be spotted and I am just bursting the living crap out of this bush because once again I truly think um, this is Starway sitting somewhere here. That's what I think. Just going like so. Oh, he took one for the team and he instantly relocated. Nice, good for him, what can I say? Good for him. Meanwhile, Estherva, how are you doing? One. And another one. Look, look what this tank is capable of doing. I mean, you... You are tank destroyer with uh, unlimited auto loader and plus on top of that you are like a spotter in the same time. So you are capable of spotting for yourself, you are capable of spotting for your team and you are capable of doing shit on of the damage in the same time. I mean, isn't it crazy? Isn't it crazy fellas? Because I honestly think it is. Meanwhile. We have a light tank who is going in front like there is no tomorrow. I think I am going to wait for a second until he is going to spot the Excalibur and Excalibur is spotted. At this point all we need to do, we need to burst the living crap out of this gentleman and we are feeling Gucci. Excellent, very very nice. M10 is returning uh, somewhere here, actually M10 is FK, so uh, all we need to do, we need to hit him once or twice, hip hip hooray. Maybe we can spank Arta once and yep, here you go, game over. Yeah, that was, that was not fellas and I did not manage to rig brother in arms. Eee, I did not pay the attention. Shame. Oh well, what can we do? Solid 1.9 thousand damage, 1.5 thousand assisting damage and once again I think uh, I think we got as much use as we physically and possibly could. Maybe if I would sit in one two line maybe I could get a bit more damage to be fair with you but once again, this is not the point when I am going to cry about this, right? So, once again, 2.1 thousand damage, 5 kills, 1.5 thousand assisting damage, absolutely insanity speaking about the game. Um, and yep, uh, top by experience, obviously, top by the damage, we did everything properly, although, to, to be fair with you, it was perfection speaking about the map. And we made 61 thousand profits in 5 minutes. It is crazy how fast World of Tanks is nowadays don't you think so beautiful game okay let's go with the most popular tank and just to mention this uh actually i will do that in a moment let's go and we are back fellas so let's take a look what is the most popular tank destroyer tier 7 so by the games uh super hellcat was played two and a half million times this is absolutely insanity considering e25 was played like 1 million 63 thousand times and su 100 m1 was played like half million times it is nuts so super hellcat looks like it is the most loved tank by community this is weird fellas this is a, a big surprise to me honestly i was expecting maybe e25 to be fair with you but once again not everyone has e25 and a lot of people have super hellcat because this tank uh, was given for the for the um, Goodyear Awards or however you would call this. Pretty much for your time in the game. And it happens once in a year, right? That's why. Anyways, beautiful. What this tank is capable of doing, this tank is capable of uh, um, running. Okay, sorry, I, I could not resist, okay, fellas, I apologize. Anyways, what I, man, what I meant to say, this tank is capable of doing of many, many bad things uh, for enemies. Um, 
it has a very nice gun i would say the gun has 240 alpha damage with a decent penetration not so decent shell velocity but you can always use the gold ammunition and gold ammunition has a bit better shell velocity and a bit better penetration overall for a tier 7 it is not horrible tank but it is not the best tank in the world of tanks and in fact um I do not really think this tank is like what Hellcat used to be back in the day when Hellcat used to be a meta tank. No, I do not really think so, fellas. I think this tank is... Uh, is okay, but it is not the best by any shape or any form. So yeah, that's what I want to say. Anyways, this game is not looking that easy for us, fellas, and we are struggling here. We are struggling. I would love to get like 2,000 damage with this tank. So we would uh, make it work to the decent margin in a way, you know. Or to the decent level. What is good about this tank? Once again, the speed. And whenever you need to switch the flanks, I mean, look at this beauty. You are relocating like there is no tomorrow. You are... Uh, uh, you are one second in one flank and other second in other flank. What is a bad thing, at least for me, um, amount of the ammunition. Amount of the ammunition on this tank is absolutely nuts and it is, uh, uh, it is very, very sad story of this vehicle. At least that's what I think and that's how I feel. Okay, we are losing this game by 3,000 hit points. Uh, this is not looking great. Um... It is looking actually very, very bad. I think enemy team has a very, very um, strong positions on the middle, right? I think the 1-2-2 to two TM is capable of beating the living crap out of the sniper schnitzels here. And he can play uh, pretty much perfectly hold down, which is absolutely amazing for this guy. So, yeah, this is going to be a hard um, job for us to dig this gentleman out. That's a fact. Meanwhile, I think we are losing the heavy line already. So how we can uh, change the plan a bit. Oh, wait a second. Can we punish this gentleman? Unfortunately, we cannot. Shame. Mm, yeah, we should be able to. Maybe. Ooh, light tank is sitting in the same bush. You know what? I am not planning to escape from here. Why would I? I do not really think it is worth for me to run for my life. Skill, what do you mean it's not worth to run for your life? The thing is, I think we can get um, enough use from this position. Although, playing uh, um, in the bush over there could be very beneficial because we would spot uh, every single incoming mother tracker. You know what? I changed my mind once again. Fellas, you have no clue what happened, so I did not change in my mind. Let's go. Okay, let's take this position. Hopefully this will work, and I want to spot every single incoming mother tracker our way. Um, looking into our um, team setup, I think we are not going to get that much support here. Why am I saying so? The thing is, fellas... Unfortunately, but uh, no one can penetrate this Oho. No one can penetrate this Oho. This Oho is a big pain in the butt. And for us, uh, we are having literally the same situation. We are struggling to penetrate this gentleman as well. Although 1 to 2 TM has a decent angle. Effort. Let's try to go here. Please don't spot me while I'm getting into position. Pretty please don't spot me. Okay, beautiful. No! Actually, maybe yes. We just missed the shot. And no! I knew it! I knew it, fellas! I knew it! Uh, well, hashtag never lucky, fellas. I failed with the Super Hellcat. I literally got one shot at by the, um, by the ISU. You know what? I cannot, uh, I cannot give up like this. Let's go for one more game. Fellas, it was very, very sad. I knew about the risk of getting into this position, but I knew the reward is going to be so awesome. And unfortunately, I got banged by the ISU. Son of the banana. Okay, uh, let's uh, check the score and let's go for one more game. I think this tank deserves another chance.
And we are back, fellas. Unfortunately, this is not as great as I expected. We have only 1,000 damage with a Super Hellcat. Shame. I'm a bit disappointed with my play, but that's what I got and that's what I deserve. Kudos to the enemy. One to two TM. I saw how he played and he did absolutely everything properly here, as you can see yourself. Anyways, we are seventh by experience. We are fifth by the damage. Definitely could be in so much better. And you know what? But I want to go with, uh, I want to give this tank one more go so let's go for it okay fellas what do we have for this game for this game we have pretty uh, nice El Galoof I like El Galoof fellas I enjoy this map a lot I think it is a great map and plus on top of that we are playing with a super Hellcat so we can hunt some some scorpions I guess Okay, so what do we want to do? First things first, I think we are going to play relatively safely here. And look at the speed. Actually, speed of this tank is absolutely amazing. And we definitely need to highlight this. Speed is probably the best thing of this tank, though. Hmm. Actually, it's not looking that easy. Hmm, it is not looking that easy as I expected it is going to be. It's okay, everything is fine. So, first things first, there is a heavy tank who is playing in the middle. Obviously, we have only one way, and that only one way is to, um, is to punish everyone who will play in the middle. And in fact, we are getting some assisting damage as well, which is always nice and always welcome. I have an idea what we are going to do at this point at this point actually you know what I think I can use this bush for spanking up I think we can use this bush for spanking fellas we are going in just like so we are spanking him in the face and we are running away just like this very very nice I'm feeling pretty happy our Sue will spank him um, for his life and pretty much empty 25 eliminated this gentleman very nice um, this is a decent start for us fellas I have a feeling we should be able to win this side with relative ease. I think we are going to win this easily. But in the same time, we will need to figure out how to break the defense of enemy sniper schnitzels. And I can tell you that they should have plenty of them. Amex have approximately half of HP left and I know I could try to um, make a bit of pressure like this and probably I will. And probably I will. You know what, fellas? This might be very, very silly. This might be very stupid, but uh, I am up to take the risk. Let's try to go like this, and we should be able to spot the Samaix somewhere here. Let's see. Where he is? Beautiful. He is sitting right there. His map awareness is pretty bad. I am spanking him in the ass. He will spank me back. I do not really mind, to be fair with you. And he is down to one shotable. And in fact, he is back in the garage. Beautiful. Very, very nice decision for us. Um, I think it definitely paid off to be aggressive. And at this point, we are going to uh, try to find enemy sniper schnitzels now the worst thing what could happen for us is scorpion sitting here i hope it is not the case and <laughs> fellas i can predict my death i repeat i can predict my death it was so beautiful Obviously, this is not what I was looking for, but this is what we have. At this point, I think I am going to cross uh, through the middle towards this Sioux. And oh, you son of the banana. Who asked you to be here? Who asked you to be here? Second fail in, in row from my side. I definitely did not expect that and I did not saw that one coming. Fellas, I did not made 
super healthy at work. I am sad with my performance. I am angry on myself, but you know what? What can you do? I truly did not expect this uh, M4 playing over there. And it is quite common position, but I needed to make some kind of pressure, right? And I thought um, if I will move like this, this is not going to be so beneficial as moving like this and trying to approach enemies this way. But what can I say? Mistakes were made and unfortunately I failed making Super Hellcat work. So I believe we are going to have a video for this tank um, in a month or two whenever I am playing three games with this vehicle and when we are going to score high. Anyways, let's see the score what we manage to do, shall we? And we are back, fellas. So what do we have? We have 1,000 damage, 1,000 assisting damage. Uh, and look at those two beautiful gentlemen. Borat and uh, and Double Penetrator. They slaughtered literally all enemy team. Good for them. Okay, we are third by experience. We are third by the damage. It wasn't that bad as I expected it to be, to be fair with you. Because we are somewhere high on, in the scoreboard. But once again... I felt like we could get a bit more use, I would say. Anyways, this is our performance with a Super Hellcat. And all and all, speaking about our experience, Super Hellcat was uh, definitely sadness. Uh, two games, E25 was very, very good and Sue was average. But, you know, uh, this is this is what we are getting by playing World of Tanks and while not trying to hunt one of 100 game whenever we are finishing with uh, 7,000 damage or something right so yeah uh, I hope you had a great time fellas I hope you enjoyed yourself and it's good to be back on pretty much a 90% of the health so I hope you were very very well entertained and see you very very soon skill is out for today peace